Loom Knitting 101 – How to Knit the Stockinette Stitch for the Loom For today's tutorial, you will need a knitting loom. Today we will be using the KISS Regular Gauge Knitting Loom with one spacer in between the pins and the pegs, your knitting tools, and a ball of yarn. Today we will be using Manos Maximo Worsted Weight 100% Merino Wool in the color Chamomile. Knitting is the process of creating fabric with a series of interlocking loops. Traditional knitting is done with needles, where you alternate working the right side or the front of a project and the wrong side or the back. Loom knitting is a little simpler in that you are always working the front side, so there is no need to alternate between the rows. This makes creating the stockinette stitch one of the most basic stitches and very, very simple to do on the loom. When doing the stockinette stitch with needles, you would alternate your first row, a knit stitch, and then your second row, a purl stitch. For this, we're just going to do knit stitch for all the rows. So for row one, you're going to knit all the way across. Now when you get to the end of your work, you'll want to turn and start working back across. To do this, there are multiple way, different ways you can create decorative edgings along this side, but for just the the most simple thing to do, you're basically going to just bring your yarn, your working yarn, back around the front outside edge of your loop and then knit it as normal. And then for row two, you're just going to knit all the way across just like before. When you get to the end of this row, you'll turn your work again by bringing it out across the outside of your work and then back in knitting it off, and continuing just like you did on row ones and one and two, knitting all the way across. After a few repeats, you'll start to get a nice little um, chunk of fabric coming out the back. And that's how you knit the stockinette stitch for the loom. Want more loom knitting tutorials? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our blog at vintagestorehouse.com to get new videos and posts sent right to your inbox. Thanks for watching!